Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and I'm here today with continuing with the astrology readings for June and we're doing Aries today. Um, I just want to thank you, those of you that have supported my channel, that have subscribed. If you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. I really appreciate your support. Check out my other channels on Magic Inspirations, my card shop and my Patreon page. All the links are down below. I will be announcing a giveaway next week of how you can win a free reading from me for your, to thank you for your support. But you must be a subscriber to get entered into that. Okay, so let's have a look at Aries for June. What does Aries need to know? And don't forget to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus if this doesn't resonate. So what does Aries need to know for June? And this is my deck, Terror of the Witch. Uh, in my card shop you can find this so we've got the moon energy ten of daggers seven of coins eight of wands so what does there is it to know what does Aries need to know about June? What does Aries need to know about June? So we've got the star energy. Six of coins. Magic witch. The six of wands. So we've got the moon energy, so that can be hidden energies, feminine energies. And we just had that uh, new moon energy in Gemini. And it's clarified by the star. Okay, so you could be going through some healing. There could be some dark shadow work, uh, dark night of the soul that you've been working on here. So you're spending time doing healing work. And then you will be in a position to manifest, okay, to manifest your desires. And we've got the Ten of Daggers, so yeah, you, you've been going through a difficult time with that Ten of Daggers. Um, you know, could have depression, anxiety, worries, um, sleepless nights. Um, but the good news is the Ten is the end of that cycle, so you're, you're just coming out of that. And it's clarified by the Six of Coins. So, you know, you've done this work on yourself and you're going to be balanced. You're coming out balanced, okay, between, you know, the dark and light aspects, your male, your feminine aspects. The positive negative so you're coming into balance and with the seven of coins you're prepared to put in time and effort here to build something this could be to do with your career okay working on a project and it's clarified by the magic witch which is a magician energy in this deck so you're manifesting your desires you know you're what you're you're working you're putting in effort but you're also working with the magic you know to manifest as well so you're co-creating with the universe and we've got the eight of wands energy there so that's movement forward um clarified by the six of wands eight of wands lots of messaging coming in maybe and six of wands success and victory ahead so very positive messages so let's clarify these energies So why have we got the moon? We've got the three, sorry, two of wands. So there could be a choice coming up that you need to make. And we've got six of cups energy. So that can talk about reconciliation, can talk about soulmate energy, can talk about nostalgia. Okay, so obviously you've been dealing with past hurts here, I feel with that moon energy and the ten of daggers. You've been looking at past maybe relationships that didn't work out and things like that okay and you're wanting to work towards building something with that seven of coins we've got eight of coins so yeah definitely putting in a lot of work and effort here we're prepared to put in the time and effort to create something here and we've got the ace of wands and we've got the the, the page of wands this is a page of wands energy so i feel there's somebody messaging this message is coming through it could be from an a fellow fire sign here Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so younger energy here. Somebody messaging you. So what is that star energy about? Star energy. 
star energy about that. We've got judgment energy coming in. Yeah, I mean, you've worked through a lot of karma, I feel, and you're going to get rewarded. You know, you've you've done your work, you've done that work on yourself, you've done that healing, you're coming into balance with that six of coins and the, the, the wheel is turning, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favour. And you're working on your manifestations here with that mag magician and we've got the tower to clarify that. So there could be sudden changes coming in. Why is the tower there? We've got the witch of wands, queen of wands energy. So, again, connecting with a fire sign energy, but this could be your energy as well. Um, okay, this could be your energy. So you're you're feeling good, you're attracting a lot of attention, you're passionate, you're driven, you're working on your career maybe, and you're in a good place, you know, you're feeling good, you've done that healing work on yourself and you're feeling good. And we've got success and victory ahead for you. And we've got four daggers, so take time to heal, okay? Take time to heal, retreat, go within. Do that work and you've got success and victory ahead, okay? Because there's major changes coming in. So what else can you tell, Aries? Yeah, we've got three of cauldrons, so I feel it's time to celebrate, time to let your hair down. After a period of working hard on yourself, doing that healing, it's time to get out there. And then we've got the Witch of Coins, which is the Page of Coins. So, again, a message coming towards you, maybe an apology or a communication of some sort, somebody reaching out. And then we've got Ten of Cauldrons, Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so somebody's definitely reaching out here um, to have a loving connection with you, okay? Tell us anything about the Ten of Cups. So I feel this is you, you know, you've done this work on yourself, you're focusing on your healing, you've come into balance, and then you're attracting this attention, you're going to attract this person in. Wow, yeah. So it's going to be mutual. A mutual love there. Okay, let's get some love messages. I didn't expect it to end that way. Love messages for Aries. What do they need to know about love for the month of June? What do they need to know about love for the month of June? It's all in the eyes. So somebody's going to really like your eyes, I feel, and, that, and you're going to like their eyes. Time together, alone time. So somebody's going to want you to themselves here. We've got sweet, sweet surrender. I feel this is a very passionate, okay, and they've got that eye contact. There's a beautiful eye contact. And feel the fear and do it anyway. You might be fearful of maybe getting into a new relationship after what happened in the past. But the message is, you know, go for it anyway, okay? Feel the fear, do it anyway. Because there's a beautiful thing ahead and it's... You're healing your heart. I feel that you've done healing and I feel this person is going to help help you heal. I don't know why the, the camera's gone out of focus here. This person's going to help you heal your heart even more. I feel it's mutual energy here. We've got love eternal. So definitely a soulmate energy here. You may have had lifetimes before with this person. And when you meet, you may have that recognition. And the first kiss is going to be very memorable. And again, you know, with that contact, you might remember those feelings, you know, from time long ago. And you are the one for me. You're both going to feel this mutual. Um, we've got couples retreat. So this person could ask you to go away with them. Okay, and have some time alone here. So let's get some final messages. Final messages for Aries, for June. Do they need to know? See the other person's point of view, yeah. I mean, don't be stubborn, you know, if you have a disagreement. Try and see the other person's point of view. We've got pressure builds. So, you know, release the pressure with each other there. You know, see the other person's point of view. Communication is key.
yeah you're going to heal the past as i say you've been working on that healing and we've got a beautiful soul so this person has got a beautiful soul and so have you and there's going to be an overflow of emotions here i feel this is you both picking up on that past life connection that you've shared here so i'm going to leave it there aries sending you love and blessings don't forget to like share subscribe comment bye for now